What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment here, back today with another episode of MLB The Show 16. This is my road to the show series I got going on with my third baseman. We're going to be finishing up the series against the El Paso Chihuahuas. So sit back and, ho and I hope you enjoy it. And welcome back, everybody. Matt Vaskersian prepping you for tonight's AAA PCL action. But before we get to the ball game, let's have a look at the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Chandler Whitaker will be our subject. And he's coming off a very nice game in which he racked up four hits and just looked dialed in at the plate. Yeah, anytime you get yourself four base knocks in a game, you're doing something right. You might have gotten a couple of gifts in terms of good pitches to hit, but you know, it's not about the pitches you get, it's what you do with them. And from what I saw, the balls were flying all over the yard off his bat. Well, that performance was big for his team, and I'm sure they're hoping he can do it again in this one. All right, pregame festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. The show's continuing coverage of minor league baseball is on the air. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the Tacoma Rainiers and the El Paso Chihuahuas. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. All right, so our first step back here coming in the top of the first inning. We're up 2 nothing. We got one out, and we got a man on second and first. Let's see if we can extend this lead and make it a 3 nothing game. And he gives us a two-seam fastball to start off. I think I saw a four-seam and a slider that he also had, too. So, and I think he had one more pitch after that. And we get get Wood on the ball. But that's going to be a routine fly out out there to center field. We aren't able to bring this guy home. And it looks like he stayed a second as well. So, we didn't, didn't even move him up to third. But we are up 3 nothing right here. So, maybe somebody brought him home. Maybe somebody scored in the second inning. And it looks like on the scoreboard, somebody scored in the second inning. But we got a man on first here in the top of the third. And the El Paso pitchers are pretty bad. And we roll into a double play after I, get, after I start talking about how bad the pitchers are. I think I kind of jinxed myself. And... Simple yeah, it was a pretty good defensive play. Right right Although the second baseman almost jacked him by overthrowing the first baseman. It's luckily that he's pretty tall. Alright, over for two on the day. It's a 4-3 game here in the top of the fifth. Got men on the corners. One out. Don't want to grind into a double play. That's the last thing we want to do. We want to do whatever we can to bring this guy home. And they do got actually a new pitcher in the game. He gives us a high curveball that looked like it was in the strike zone. At the strike, if you ask me. And that ball hit high to right field, and that's about all it is. Let's see if the guy at third comes home. And he did, so it's not going to cost us an out. We get the run. Oh, excuse me, we get the RBI. And, yeah, well, we do get the run. But, hey, we did at least one thing. I was surprised he even went. And we lucked out. <laughs> right, it's a 5-3 ball game here in the top of the eighth. And we get good wood on that one, but that's going to be a routine fly out to left center. And the left fielder is there. We only got one training point for that. So I'm guessing that wasn't as good as a hit as I thought it was. And whoa-ho. We are up 8-3. to three. It's the top of the ninth. Two outs. A man on first and second. See if we can make this day a little better than what it is. Actually, I don't even think we got a hit in this game. Yeah, you know, we're going to go ahead and activate this perk. Why not? Get it for the at-bat. So last inning anyway, I highly doubt they're gonna be coming back unless our pitching's just like just just terrible. And we do get good wood on it, and it's just gonna be a center field fly out. He almost he almost missed it. But. Oh well, 
It's a pretty solid win, I'm guessing. 8-3. Highly doubt they're even coming back. And they don't hear the boos. So I'll see you guys in the next part of this video. And we're going to wind up winning this one 8-3. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're coming here in the top of the third. So we're batting 318 on the year. All right, commentator just said he's faced the minimum, which means he's six up and six down. So he's faced each batter he's faced. He's, he's got him out. So we haven't got any type of hit yet. Inside off the plate with the fastball, it's one and one. All right, so one one count. Let's see if he gives us a pitch that we can do something with. And he takes a cold. Hard to believe he let that one go. Ah, I should have swung on that one. I don't even want to see the replay now. Forget that. And we swing at that one though. So we had a cut of this way outside the zone. About neck level. And we get the pitch that we want. That's what they say in baseball. Always wait for the pitch that you want. We push it out there to right field. So we're going to get our first base hit of the day. That's a start one for one. <laughs> so I'm sure the head fan, those fans will be happy to see me leave. Well, they were able to slow me down in the last night's game. And he's going to ground to third. That's going to be... Oh, he threw it over the second baseman's head. Oh, man, I really wanted to go to third right there, but my dude, for some reason, just stayed on the ground. Might have not been able to beat them, but oh well. We don't. We didn't get to see the chance. <laughs> Man, <laughs> don't see that happen all the time. But I guess that's why we're in the minor leagues. And he's gonna ground out the first, and he's gonna overthrow his guy. And we're gonna. Go, oh, wait, no, 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 no. We're gonna try to get back, get back, get back, get back. And we barely get back. Saw the third base coach tell us to stop. I don't know if I would have been able to beat that out or not. That's <laughs> back-to-back errors, and at least us having bases loaded. And great awareness by the left fielder out there to pay <laughs> to be paying attention and to get their ball in quickly, preventing me from scoring. See if this guy can at least just bring the home, dude. And he will do that, and they will finally complete a double play at the cost of a run. So, so at least we get we get the run on the play. All right, so El Paso has taken the lead, and it's here in the top of the fifth. Let's see if we can try to get something going on as we lead off. Good curveball. And we're going to fly out to right field. <coughs> Almost felt like that was a pop up. And we regained the lead. We're up 3 2. We got a chance to extend this to 4 2. We're in the top of the six with one out. Come on, let's give me something I can do with the bring this guy home. And we do get a good base hit. That's going right up the middle. And the center fielder has trouble with it out there. And we thought about going to second, but we are going to get an RBI on the play. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. He has a 3-1 count here. Hey, maybe he draws a walk. The pitch has been doing pretty bad lately. And he does draw a walk. So, no double play chances. Well, 
That's wrong. He didn't grind into a double play. There is still a double play chance. All right, dude. Let's make it 5-2. And they trying to pick us off. I told y'all, man. Y'all not going to be picking me off out here. Only got like a 35 speed anyway. I'm not stealing, especially third. Oh, <clears throat> he get, I think he got caught looking on that play. Yep, got caught looking. That was about knee level. I don't know about that one. I might have been in the strike zone. I have no clue. All right, let's see if this guy can bring us home. We got two eyes, two on him. He's two, two counting. Oh, he gets caught looking. So back to back, he catches two guys looking for the strikeout. So that pitcher came in and pretty much saved what could have been a very big inning for us. All right, so we got another batting opportunity here in the top of the eighth with two outs. See what we can do here. And he throws a low changeup. Wow, 92 miles per hour for a changeup. I'm guessing he has a pretty fast fastball. And that ball stay fair, and it will not. Ooh, he gave us a slider right down the middle, and we were late on it. 90 miles per hour slider. Holy oh, crap. Ooh, he got me. Oh, whew. I actually like to see how fast this fastball is. Ninety-seven miles an hour, and he almost got us looking. <laughs> Crowd's not too happy about that one, but I think it was just above the strike zone. Yeah, you can see at the bottom left and the end up there at the top right. It was out. I mean, yeah, it was at a strike zone. And we're gonna get a base hit right here. Just get it right past the shortstop's glove. And like I can say, man, we're having a fine series against these guys. You got to be a tough out, man. You want to get called up to the majors, and that's our opp and that's what we're trying to do. And he gets a base hit over there to right field, and we barely get in before the right field that almost throws us out. Alright, Chris Taylor, man. Come on. Help our help our pitching club out, man. Help him out. Let's get them a three run lead. And he makes good contact with it, but the left fielder is gonna be there to make the final out. So that's gonna do it for us in the eighth inning. Hopefully our pitching staff can close it down. I'm actually gonna do watch a little play by play just to see what happens, see if we can see if we can clutch it out. Right, we just need one more out here in this eighth inning. Uh oh, they hit a home run. Oh boy, it is four four. We finally get the third out. Can our team do anything? And we do not. And we walk the guy. They bunt him over. This guy gets a big off fielder. Come on. And we're gonna wind up losing this game. Thank you all for watching, man. If you enjoyed the video. Hit, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with my videos that I'll be posting up this series and more. I'm out to next time, though, everybody. Peace.